<laughs> Work! Now, put the order in the hopper. Automation. Why don't you get some rest? I bet we filled twice as many orders tomorrow. I'm gonna find some way out of here. August 30th. Have to be more careful. I accidentally put my hat next to the suction coupling and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle, or worse, a wrench. September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cut off to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cut off to all the machines to minimize accidents. Don't want Edmund's hand ending up in the V-meat. Ah! If I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? All right! Are you ready for another day of serving people? I mean, uh, serving the people, of course. <laughs> My little jig. Never mind. Ah, let's see what's true with that. Something's gone terribly wrong. There's smoke coming out. That doesn't sound good. The better I'd come down. Don't try anything clever. We've got a lot to do today. And it takes too long to recover from the spanker. I think I'll just get my things and go. I don't see anyone else's things here. That's a good sign. You're not in the center, are you? 